So I welcome you back on the channel Apple Prof, and I wish you a very happy Holy Ramadan. Uh, we have some we have few questions uh, regarding spoken English, and uh, uh, my co-member uh, Noor is here. We have also a question. So, sir, I have a first question. Sir, can you tell us four to five tips how a student can improve uh, his English spoken skills in three months? That's a wonderful question. Well, I would say that every individual happens to be different. Well, if something works for me, it's not necessary that the same thing would work for the other person as well. So as individuals, all of us are different. But there are a bunch of things that we can do individually in order to get better when it comes to speaking in English. Well, the first thing which I would recommend is that you need to have certain friends who are like-minded, who will talk to you in this particular language, and who will encourage you to speak in this particular language because we don't really have the environment where we could actually speak English as much as we want. Okay, this is the first thing which I would recommend. The second thing is that you should be watching more movies with subtitles. Well, it does wonders for you. When you're watching movies and when you're looking at characters doing certain things in certain circumstances and speaking a certain kind of English, well, you would develop more than you actually imagine. Because when you're actually visually grasping certain characters using English, well, chances are that you will learn way more. And the third thing which I would recommend to you is that you need to start practicing alone. You need to create imaginary scenarios and you need to start asking yourself certain questions and then you need to answer those questions which you ask yourself. This is one way of uh, you know developing this confidence when you're alone. So one, once you practice alone, it becomes way more easier for you when you are in a group or in a gathering. Okay. So these are a bunch of things that you can do in order to improve your English. But I I can uh, say for sure that you would improve in three months. Well, this is something that depends on the individual. Uh, you might improve in a week if you have the right kind of drive for it, and it might take you even a year if you don't have the right kind of drive, but eventually you would get there. And every individual, like I said, is different. So different methods work for different people. And you need to understand that English is something that you acquire as a secondary language, okay? It's not your primary language. So whenever you're actually uh, trying to interact in the secondary language, chances are that you're gonna make mistakes. So you have to be okay with making mistakes. As a, a native speaker, well, this is pretty natural to take mistakes. Even the ones who are native English speakers living in England or living in the US, even they make mistakes. And every uh, particular area has its own dialect, has its own accent, they have their own way of uh, uh, showcasing their English prowess. So English is not the same. Even English varies from country to country, from county to county. So you need to understand that. So uh, if you start practicing these things, you have uh, the right kind of friends, if you have the right kind of environment, if you're practicing with yourself, if you're watching a bunch of movies, you could definitely do a very much. Thank you, sir. Now we'll move to our second question. Sir, uh, there is an ongoing debate with people, either they pursue uh, British accent or American accent. Uh, so uh, is this important? or if they play a vital role in spoken English or not? Well, this is quite the concern these days amongst youngsters. Well, whenever they're actually watching a movie and whenever they come across a British or an American accent, they're really impressed by it. They think that they should be uh, getting used to an accent like that. But the thing is, you should be developing your own accent. Well, people of West Indies, people of India, they have their own accent. Although they speak pretty good English, but it's not that they're really invested in the accent. Well, you need to develop your own accent as Pakistanis. And this is what matters. Like I say all the time, that the primary agenda for you as someone who's trying to communicate something, you need to focus on getting the message through. It's not always about the language and how you manage to propagate the message. The thing that needs to be focused on is getting the message across to the masses the accent doesn't really matter. If you're living in America, it's a matter of a couple of weeks. You would pick up the accent before you even know it. It's as 
simple as that. You just need the right kind of environment. If you go to Britain and live over there for a couple of weeks, well, you would absorb the app accent pretty quickly. And uh, there's, there are many accents. There's, uh, there's this British accent, there's an American accent, there's Australian accent, there's a Pakistani American accent, there's an Indian American accent, there's an Indian accent. So there are very, uh, you know, various accents out there. So this is something that makes things very confusing. And at every kilometer, you would notice that people come up with different dialects, people come up with different dictions, people come up, come up with different ways of speaking. So if there's so much diversity, we can not contain all of this in a shell. It's impossible. So we need to understand that we should not be impressed by all these uh, you know, varieties of accents. We need to learn to come up with, with our own accent. And this is what matters the most these days. So now the third question will be for my co-member. Uh, uh, my question is that how movies we are in spoken English? The thing is, but over here, you're not getting the environment where you could, you know, invest yourself, uh, you know, as far as buying English is concerned. Like I say all the time that when you're going out to buy groceries, you're not going to talk to people in English. You're going to talk to them in either Urdu or Punjabi or whatever your mother tongue actually is. So for you to, to develop this environment around you, First of all, you need to learn to condition yourself in terms of learning English. So when you're watching a movie, you're not only acquiring a language, but you're also acquiring the culture of a particular place. So when you're watching a movie, you're visually engaged. You're looking at characters, you're looking at settings, you, you have a plot in front of you, and you're pretty clear that uh, something is happening over there and you're pretty engaged in that. Then you take interest in something and when you fully engage in something, well, you learn a lot. And with combining the visuals and combining that, you know, uh, experience of lear learning English, you know, uh, through the audio, but these are the things that really uh, play a pivotal role uh, when it comes to acquiring English. You may not learn English as quickly as uh, you do when you're watching movies. When you're amongst friends even, you're not gonna acquire English as much because there are always gonna be certain imperfections. But when you're looking at a movie, well, a movie is made after going through scripts. A movie is made by making sure that the cinematography is on point. When the movie is made, it's made sure that the dialogues are delivered perfectly. So all these factors come to play. So in the making of a movie, so many things are actually involved. So there is some kind of perfection when you're learning English through a movie. And especially when you're watching movies through subtitles. Well, it would do wonders for you. And it might take uh, a day for you to, you know, or a week maybe to get used to that kind of English. But with the passage of time, uh, you will realize that your English has improved tenfold. And it does happen. You just need to give it some time. Thank you. So these uh, three questions, I hope, I wish that these tricks and tips will help you to improve your English skill and uh, we will bring inshallah more videos like these, uh, how student or a viewer can improve his English or English. So if you like this video, please like, if you like this video, so please share this video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.